today we're going to talk about the COVID-19 as we all know to be the coronavirus all right I'm going to give you uh, a little bit of symptoms how to prevent it okay the overview and then also how to prepare for it all right. <laughs> guys good day once again and it's your boy edward okay you welcome to grand tv updates today we're going to talk about the covid 19 as we all know to be the coronavirus i'm going to give you uh, a little bit of symptoms how to prevent it the overview and then also how to prepare for it so as we all know the coronavirus is an infectious disease caused by a new virus that had not been identified in human beings before. Now, as we all know, this coronavirus is causing a lot of harm to humans all over the world. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to discuss the symptoms. All right. Now, what are the symptoms that will show for one to be able to quickly rush to the hospital to have a checkup? The first one is runny nose. The second one is sore throat. The third one is cough. The fourth one is fever. And the fifth one is difficulty in breathing. That is severe cases. Now also, how do we prevent this? symptom we need to clean our hands frequently with alcohol based or uh, hand sanitizers or soap and water all right we need to wash it thoroughly and then also we need to cover our nose okay with a tissue or flexed elbow when sneezing so also uh, i had a friend in uh, germany here that is in osberg okay he said uh once a lady an old woman told him a story about uh, the adult Adolf Hitler war. Now, with this story, it went this way. He said the old woman told him that during this war, there was hunger. So, those who were able to survive this hunger were those who were able to store food. Now, most people that live in Germany understand that their houses are built underground, that is underneath. So, uh, he said the old woman told him that those who were able to survive were those the wise ones that were able to keep food before or even uh, within the event all right that is within the war so this brings to mind okay with the way things are going some of you can bear with me that even now if you should go to the shop you're going to see there that the shelves are empty as at this point nobody knows what is going to happen tomorrow all right so what i'm going to tell you is let's try to prepare let's prepare so that let's say if we should wake up tomorrow morning and there's a news okay all over that nobody is going out how are we going to survive how are we going to live so some foodstuffs for example bread rice spaghetti powdered uh, milk let's say some of these canned foods one should quickly purchase them not uh, in bulk quantities but at least something that can keep you or that that you can keep for more than a month that is not going to be destroyed all right let's try to keep some breads in the deep freezer or in the fridge at least so that when things go wrong okay we can be able to prevent ourselves all right this is just a, a short advice thanks guys and then let's hope for the best we pray that God Almighty would be able to protect us all have a nice weekend guys have a nice day and then don't forget to click on the subscribe button to follow the channel bye